Hey everybody, this is Dion, and today I have a very special unboxing video for you guys. So, um, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it or something, I, I'm just gonna go out and straight out tell you. Um, it's the new Sega, um, the mini console version. So I did an unboxing of the, uh, the Super Nintendo uh, Classic Mini. Um, so, this one is um, the Sega one. And uh, I never had any, well, I'm not gonna say I, I didn't have any experience with a Sega a video game console. It's just, well, it's just practically non-existent in my case. When I had my original um, Super Nintendo, um, the Sega stuff just was not around, okay? So this is basically my very first um, uh, Sega, um, like connected video game stuff that I ever actually went out and bought. Okay, Let's see if I can have a 16 bit. <laughs> All right, warranty in there. There you go. The, the experience that I had was just like with a, a neighbor and I, I was pretty young still uh, like um, the Sega Dreamcast had already come and gone and all of that so it was already an old system and I experienced for the first time a Sonic game besides that I just had uh, like experienced it on a, on a mobile device which is maybe laughable for some of you like is that the first experience that you want to have from such a, a generation? You know, it seems kind of off-putting, but that's that's just how it went. Really nice. 40, 40 classic games. I read that you had two bonus titles. There you go. I was right. <laughs> I, di I didn't try to, you know, go on the internet and, and uh, watch other people making unboxings of these things. I did saw like one or two videos. Um, well, that's just about it. Like, there's a lot of games that I didn't play. I like this one, the Dolphin game. Wait, 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 wait. You see? I had, um, really back in the day, um, I had a, <laughs> like, a, a, a computer. And it was a very slow computer. But this game, the Dolphin game, I had that experience of playing it. I think it was just a demo, I don't know. But I thought the game was really beautiful. It was gorgeous. And by that time I was playing a game that was uh, outdated, you know. Can you just pull everything out? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Ta -da. All right. Look at the box. I'm gonna put the box like right be right behind me, <laughs> next to the Super Nintendo version, okay? Okay, well, I like the, the amount of detail. Look at this, look at all the detail. I've never, I, I just, that, just for that one time at a neighbor's house that I actually saw a Mega Drive. And I don't think it was this version, I think it was already the second version. Because I, not, I read that there were three versions of it. Um, the first one being from 1989. Actually, I'm just as old as this console, the original one. That's just crazy. Okay. Mega Drive Mini. I'm curious to know if they took... How should I put it? Well, Nintendo didn't didn't start the um, the the mini console craze, but they definitely upped the game in terms of quality and the experience. And I know that they've delayed the release of the Mega Drive Mini at least one or two times, right? There was a different company that was supposed to do this, and they went. They were like, "No, we want to do this." make sure that it is good so i'm quite curious to know so i'm gonna open <laughs> the manual which probably none of you guys want to see this but i like i like every look you see now i feel tempted to go on the internet and look like 
was this is this an exact replica of the um, the original one for instance if you bought the first version of this console was it like that out of the box technically it should be right and i'm aware that that there were um like the sega uh the cd accessory that you could get and put it like underneath the console there was the 32x which i still don't know why that existed but okay um i just you know when i saw when i said that i didn't um went online and looked for a lot of videos and people unboxing this so that it would be relatively like a, a unique experience and do this with you with you guys um i did saw one thing though and i didn't quite like that this is my criticizing moment right now for japan or for um some youtubers so Sega didn't give me that, I have to go out and buy it. Um, there was actually all the, these accessories that I was just talking about. They, they made a mini version of all of this. And you could actually like put them together. And I was thinking, okay, the, maybe they could release um, a few games that were just exclusive to those accessories. That would be cool. The exclusive games for the Sega CD or some games for the um, uh, 32X. I don't know. It's just a thought, right? They, they, maybe they didn't quite thought about that and, and last minute they were like, okay, but let's just make this for Japan because it's people go crazy for it here. Well, what about the rest of the world? People now feel like, well, that's what exactly what I wanted. Give me what I wanted. <laughs> okay, an HDMI cable, which always comes in handy. Like, I've got so many consoles connected to each other, like, um, if there's a powder power outing or something, I think that a new consciousness is going to be born right here because there's a lot of electronic equipment. And um, to the point where I'm starting to get a bit fearful, like, am I connecting too many stuff at once? But okay. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time opening the cable and whatnot. Okay, power cable. So I'm assuming that you can just yeah uh where's the camera okay you see that exactly the same i've only unboxed the um, the super nintendo mini console and i can say to you that i will be doing the original nintendo and the playstation 1 version believe it or not i was not expecting the backlash on that one quite frankly i, I like I, I was really first of all the playstation 1 is not from this generation it's from the second like this is the 16-bit generation, PlayStation 1 is the 32-bit um, generation. So I was like, okay, did you just went ahead of yourself and couldn't you just wait? People were, were thinking, well, why don't I have a Nintendo 64 Mini yet? Or a Sega Dreamcast? Now there's a console that I never saw in real life. Okay, look at it. Beautiful, huh? And I already know that there was a six button version that I know. Feels, I, I'm gonna say this, I don't want to ignite that stupid feud between, uh, are you on um, the Super Nintendo team or are you on a Sega, you know, let's not just not do that. And I can feel that sometimes people are gonna, you know, try to look at it like okay so the playstation 1 classic just got out or the playstation 1 mini just got out how's it gonna handle the, the nes or the super nes versions turn out it bumped because of the gaming selections on there which is really you know it's just a, a missed opportunity i think but it's good for um hacking and stuff this is just it feels a, a lot like uh, compared to the um the super nintendo um, controller, it feels bigger in your hands. What does it say? Wait, 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 wait. Let me... <laughs> made in China. Everything was made in China. And I don't know if the original one was not, was made in Japan. It's, if it was made in Japan, you know that 20 or 30 years afterwards, it will still work. Stuff made in Japan lasts like forever. <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> this is quite crazy. I wouldn't, I would have 
I anticipated that this would be my very first like real um, contact with a Sega Genesis console that I actually owned. It feels kind of strange because I always felt like, well, you go out and get the original, the real stuff. Okay, got two controllers. I don't know if, if the games um, had, uh, for instance, the Super Nintendo, I know that they put games in there, not only because they were the best selling games on that console or had in a way shaped the console, but they were ready to, for instance, you, you go in there and it's it has games that you can play with a second player. And I don't know if they, they had that intention with this console. I don't know, I don't know. And a lot of a lot of the games on on here, I just don't don't know them. Besides, obviously the, the Sonic games, I've watched um, a lot of uh, gameplay from that, but I didn't have the experience of actually playing them and knowing what it's like, what the difficulty is like, in terms of or what the speed is like. You know, I, I'm just I never played it actually, like just like that from the beginning to end. <laughs> Something tells me this this cord is bigger than the <laughs> than the others. I don't know. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the first one from um, the NES Classic or the NES Mini was heavily criticized because the cord was short. Okay, and then they and it came just with one controller, and then they released like a, um, a version with two controllers and an extended cord. You know, so they listened to the critics. So that was good. Let me see. I think it, I think, you see, it's just as long as you can open your arms. <laughs> uh, I think it's more or less like um, comparable to the other ones. But just in case, let me just, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me just grab them. Okay. So we got a controller here. This is from the Super Nintendo, the mini classic edition. So as you can see, you know, it's a lot smaller. Wait. It's a lot smaller. And I think the length, um, I don't know, but it seemed a, a little bit smaller too, but it must have, it must be neck and, you see? Okay. You see, this is the amount of cable uh, that this console has, um, just longer than the Super Nintendo mini version. Anyways. Never had a problem with that in terms of the distance of the cable, so I'm good. <laughs> okay, so the only thing missing is opening the console itself. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that it is probably the same size of the, um, the controller, right? Let me just get, get rid of this. Make some room. Oh look, the Mega Drive. You can see already, wait, wait. You can already see that. So I'm guessing that is the bottom. I think the only, actually the only one that had um, a difficult like opening in, in terms of the box, is always the PlayStation has always this this thing like a box inside of box inside a box. Dun, 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 dun. And now it was something else. No, <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. Okay. Sixteen bit in your face, baby. And yeah, I, I saw those commercials from back in the day. I never saw them actually in, in those days. But Genesis does what Nintendo not really. Look at it. You, you know, I know that this is just for show. But I've really, I would have really enjoyed it if you could actually plug in your um, phones and listen to it. Oh, this is cool. It actually has, um, it, it's not like, um, it has a, um, how should I explain it? You feel like you're pressing against something when you do this to the slider. On, off, reset. Okay, very simple. H, 
let me see, wait, 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 wait. HDMI out, put and a DC in input, but just, what does this say? Sega Europe. Okay, so you got, so this is where you would technically um, plug in the Sega CD. Oh, this is cool. Yo, they made, they actually made it. <laughs> they actually went to the trouble of, to make a separate plastic thingy to emulate the real thing. Wait. Okay. Okay, the controllers, I can, I, well, I actually didn't pay attention to that, but they are, um, USB controllers and the PlayStation 1, I know that they use this to, in terms of favoritism, in term, to do piracy. So the, uh, actually, the, the, the NES and the Super Nintendo is technically a, a bit difficult to um, crack and to um, put, dump like ROMs that were not supposed to be there. But it's, I, uh, they, I seen on the internet, people know how to do that. But I don't want to risk any of that because I'm afraid like I will do that and then if something goes wrong, I have a, a brick in my hand, see? Look at it. It's practically the size of, size of your hand. Let me just... Okay, so... Wait. You see, I was right, practically the same size of the controller. goes in like that it actually tricks your brain to thinking that whoa that hdmi that that oh that um usb cable is way bigger than it's supposed to be but it's not i didn't saw that wait you see the look at it it says sega right there <laughs> okay See if I can remove this. Power on. So you, there's where you see if your console. This is really cool. It, it says high definition graphics and stereo sound. Imagine myself if I were a little kid um, with this thing. I would go like, whoa, it has like. Um, hi-fi equipment stuff in it. <laughs> I would be like all over the place. Actually, this would fool me because I would be tricked to think that um, it would read CDs or audio CDs. Oh, look, they, oh, look at it. It opens up. That is, that is just cute. The amount of details though that went into this. Ah, man, I just feel so tempted to get the, the Sega CD and the 32X just for the heck of it, like... <laughs> they could have done something fu something really funny with that. I know that if you um, joined um, Sonic 1, 2 and 3, you could get Sonic and & Knuckles. And please correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I had not experienced that era. Um, and you could, like, if you got those, you could, uh, like, unlock the, that game. They could have played with that. That's the only criticism that I get that I gave Sega because everything is just so detailed and, and on point. Let's see if I, I was just talking. I didn't actually know if that game is here or not. You got Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2. Sorry, I just hit a cable. And Sonic Spinball. I read that this was like a game that they um, rushed to the market because Sonic 3 was not finished yet. I don't know if that's accurate. Please comment me below and tell me if I'm right or wrong because I don't want to stay ignorant, okay? Alex Kidd, which I've read that was originally an in-game uh, from Sega. It was their um, most notorious uh, mascot before Sonic came around. 
You see, I know these things because I read about them. I didn't live through them. That's kind of strange because according to my age, I could have, right? <laughs> so I'm like a first timer with this with these things. Okay, Shinobi. I know this name comes up a lot as a as a one of those games that really is like a must-have game if you have a Sega console. This one also, a Mickey Mouse game. Space Harrier, I hear a lot in terms of accuracy that, uh, that you could have the... You could have a very um, close approach to the arcade experience of this game and Sega was known for that. Or so I read, as I just told you, I never lived that. Ultra Fighter 2, strange. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, this one. This one is also a, a reference. I don't know. Forty games. That's a lot of games, right? So, are these the two bonus titles that you get? Darius and Tetris. Actually, I don't want to be like sound like a Nintendo fanboy, but Tetris is like this game that I associate with the Game Boy for some reason. Uh, Is that, what is this Tetris going to give me that you don't already know from Tetris? I don't know. Isn't there a, 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 like an unreleased game that people felt, oh, it's just such an injustice. That game should have come out and all. You know, the Super Nintendo had Star Fox 2, which everybody knew that that game was finished and just never released. So, you know, it wouldn't look bad in comparison with the competition. So that was really something. That was just... Like, uh, um, it gives you a certain value right, to get the console. I don't know. Well, let's just stay positive and think it's, you know, worthy. This Darius game. I don't know. So, needless to say, I will be playing all of these games. And, yeah. Maybe have like like a, a specific day of the week to play them. What do you guys think? I'm I'm like curious to know just one thing though. Is there any fighting games on this? Because I read somewhere that you could have a certain advantage if you have the a uh, six button controller and that you would have combined certain buttons to have special attacks so i don't know if that's going to be a letdown to some people or oh, earthworm gym this game um i recognize it i've seen a lot of videos with these this game it's it looked like the cartoon i don't know if it's a good game it's just referenced a lot no i well um Virtual Fighter 2 is obviously a fighting game. Street Fighter 2. Maybe on this game. Maybe on that game you'll feel a difference. And I don't know if Sega will release a 6 button version to play this, but that's like the same feeling that I get with the PlayStation 1 um, Mini, is that they didn't give you those um, 360 buttons with the controllers. It was the first version of the controller, so. There you go. I don't know, I just wanna... <laughs> I think that I rushed a little bit uh, and I talked too much, y'all. You gotta tell me to shut up. <laughs> this is so cool. I have the same feeling when I unbox the other ones, like... Um, you just wanna touch every button and, and see if you can, you know, if it has some reaction when you connect it to the TV. So I will be doing that in another video and just play like a couple of minutes, all of 40 games. You know, if you do like one minute of every game, you have a four minute video. And I don't know if people will sit through that, you know. Um, I'm curious to know one thing and I don't exactly have the needs to do that, which is compare the, the, the image and the sound to what would have been uh, an original uh, Mega Drive and I don't know for a fact if the Japanese version has um, other other games or Japanese version of the games um, because 
with the PlayStation 1, not so much, but with the Nintendo ones, they actually had different colors, different um, games on there. And I've read somewhere, I didn't want too many spoiler, spoilers, but I did read somewhere that if you connect this to the TV and you put, when, when you select the language that you want uh, the menus to be and all that, if you put the Japanese language, there will be Japanese games on there. And that is just th something that none of the others um, actually did. You know, I love the menus. I love the, all of that. Uh, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. So I'm just curious to know if that's true or not. You guys can comment me below and like tell me before I make um, a gameplay video of this. So and that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, my name is Dion and if you like my content, follow me on my social media and on this channel. And I'll see you guys pretty soon because I want to play this baby. <laughs> Goodbye.